Welcome to the Student Innovation Center. I'm Jim Oliver, the director of the center. We're here in the main east-west atrium of the Student Innovation Center. Uh, we expect students to be roaming through here all the time. You're behind me is our Stepatorium, which is a gathering spot for collaborating for events. You can see the giant uh, screen that lights this entire atrium up so that we can have presentations and events and speakers uh, as a main gathering spot. There's so much to show you in the Student Innovation Center. I'm, I'm really excited to walk through and explain what we have here for everybody. It's very exciting. All right, we're here now in the Gaffers Guild, which is a wonderful studio for glass blowing. This is a club that's been at ISU for 40 years. This is a magnificent resource, state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, we've got all kinds of audio-visual uh, capabilities to capture what's going on, and a places for students to sit and see the action in person. This is a tremendous uh, example of the interdisciplinary nature of the work that goes on at the Student Innovation Center because we have the, the scientific aspects of GLASS, and Professor Martin is the leader of that group. He's a world-renowned scientist. And then the aesthetics and the creativity of GLASS itself for all the different uses. So, this club is thriving, and now they have the perfect place to do their work. We're here in our auditorium in the lower level, Student Innovation Center. Our class is just convening before we start. I'll try not to interrupt. We have five university, general university classrooms in the building that'll be uh, allocated to faculty that are interested in innovating in their teaching techniques. And uh, we're thrilled to have uh, a variety of different courses from all around the university taking advantage of these beautiful resources. All right, we are now in the Boeing Advanced Fabrication and Assembly Shop. This is clearly empty because it was repurposed as a classroom for um, fall semester, as actually last spring and fall. Uh, we are now in the process of finishing off the dust handling system and installing all of the maker equipment. This will be primarily wood and light metal fabrication with assembly bays next door. Again, open to all students from all across the university. If you want to make something, you can make it here in the Student Innovation Center. Right now we're in the assembly bay of the heavy metal shop. This is one of three of our big maker spaces. This one, as you can see, has been dedicated to the student organizations that make the competitive projects. Here's the next generation formula car, Baja car, clean snowmobile, super mileage. Um, and if you want to pan around behind me, there's the upcoming Prism solar car. Um, I like to say that all of our clubs will be very competitive with these tremendous resources that are available for them to create and innovate um, in their club projects. Now we're in the fabrication side of this heavy metal shop, and as you can see, we got some pretty serious equipment here for the students to use. So this is primarily, again, for the student organizations that make the competitive uh, projects. Um, top of the line, state of the art, machine tools, lathes, mills, drills, uh, all the equipment they need to make the parts in this side, and they assemble them and test them on the assembly bay next door. Now we're in uh, our makerspace on the second floor, which is electronics, 3D printing, and textile fabrication. You say, oh, it's an odd collection by design. So here we are in the electronics area. You've got soldering hoods and various electronics, power supplies, oscilloscopes, and that type of thing. And this is a really common um, place where students will interact with uh, open source hardware like Adrenos and Raspberry Pis and create new things. Adjacent to me here are all kinds of 3D printers, and we made the decision to go with very easy to use printers that are high throughput to get as many students as we can experience with 3D printing. And as you know, you can print just about anything on these machines, different materials and different objects. And as we walk through here, we're gonna transition from electronics, uh, 3D printing, and this whole section is all focused on textile fabrication. So we've got really high-tech fabrication for textiles, uh, laser cutters, um, computer-controlled looms and knitting machines, and tremendous resources that will support not only our excellent fashion design program, but also a myriad of other kinds of applications where interesting uses of technology and textiles come together. We are in the Architectural Robotics Lab. This is a group in the College of Design that experiments with 
interesting uses of technology like robots and other technologies to create different building materials. So think of different ways to put rebar into uh, preformed concrete and other really creative uses of technology in architecture. Now we're in our digital modeling and visualization laboratory, which is a state-of-the-art facility for everything related to virtual and augmented reality. I come from that world as a researcher, and I can tell you that the barrier to entry has dropped to the floor, so anybody can use this laboratory to create devices and applications to take advantage of augmented reality, where we're mixing the physical and the virtual, as well as complete virtual reality. So we'll have uh, head-mounted displays and various technologies in here and all the computing power you need to create some really exciting applications. Again, open to all students, faculty, staff to take advantage of this resource. We are now in the Larry and Pam Pithan Collaborative Learning Space, a teaching space for the College of Engineering. There are three spaces like this throughout the building. We've got some students working on a capstone project right behind me here. This room is set up with what we call team-based learning technology. So all of these pods have a separate monitor that can, the students can use individually or the instructor can coordinate with what's seen on the big screen or on these little screens. They can push and pull content from any one or any multiple of those to share with everybody else. A very cool technology that is being exploited here at Student Innovation Center. We're now in the Learning in the Round classroom. This is the only facility on campus that's configured in this way of concentric seating. So this is not a lecture hall, this is more like a discussion forum. Uh, you'll notice the seats inside rotate around so we can cluster the students in groups uh, to discuss, bring them back to the broader discussion. Um, notice the beautiful AV above me um, is visible from everywhere. Even the students on the inside and look at the inside displays. So it's just a really unique learning space that we hope many faculty take advantage of here at the Student Innovation Center. We are now in the AV control room in the Student Innovation Center. And this facility has AV capture in almost every location. So the idea is we can capture anything going on anywhere in the building and from this location, route it to any place else. So the, Content could go down to the media production shop or out to the stepatorium display or out to uh, online education. We have the ability to capture or stream digital content uh, anywhere. And as you can see, we've got cameras in almost every uh, room in the building to uh, create that content and leverage it through digital means. We're now on the third floor, and this is the home of the HNI SciBiz uh, Entrepreneurship Suite. So it's a suite of three rooms that's dedicated to all of the resources available to students, faculty, and staff on entrepreneurship. Now, as you probably know, ISU has great resources for those, but until recently, most of those resources were out at the research park at the core facility. And if you're a student, that's a bus ride away. Well, now they have a foot in, on the ground here in the Student Innovation Center, right in the heart of all the action, and they're taking full advantage of it to bolster our entrepreneurship capabilities here inside the Student Innovation Center. This is an example of these open meeting rooms. We have about 13 of these throughout the building. Um, students can schedule these either online or on a schedule panel throughout the, uh, throughout the building. Um, they're all equipped with tremendous AV, so you can pop open your laptop, connect wirelessly to the big display, connect to your sponsor, project sponsors. Um, these are in high demand throughout the university, and like I said, we have 13 of these throughout the building that uh, are open for everyone to use. Now we're in the Culinary Creations Laboratory, which is a te teaching facility for the College of Human Science. This is a fully equipped kitchen uh, with all everything you need to teach the culinary arts, including refrigeration and, and ranges and ovens. Uh, notice we also have a tremendous amount of audio-visual capture in here, not only for the students who are present, but again, that can be routed down to the uh, control room and sent out anywhere in the, in the world. It's just a really wonderful resource in high demand. These students are busy making uh, chocolate creations at this time. So this is a teaching facility. All six colleges that have undergraduate programs have a dedicated space in the Student Innovation Center. This is a suite uh, for the College of Liberal Arts and Science. It's called STEM Scholars. 
or it's a diversity enrichment program for the College of LAS. They have several other shared facilities. Another nice resource out here, if you pan this way, there's a beautiful deck uh, off the third level that has planter boxes. And our goal is to have, we've already talked to the horticulture department to help us plant um, potentially uh, foods and herbs in that, uh, in that garden area that could be utilized in the demonstration kitchen. So it's a beautiful uh, outdoor res resource that we are planning on taking advantage of. We're now in one of the College of Design's learning spaces. This is in support of the Industrial Design Program, which is that intersection of aesthetics and functionality that product designers need to learn about. A very popular major. They have two uh, big learning spaces here in the Student Innovation Center for a very thriving major, and you can see a lot of creativity happening on the walls around me. Um, it's just a really thriving program. We're thrilled to have them in the Student Innovation Center. Welcome to the Sparks Cafe here on the fourth floor of the Student Innovation Center. This is a student-run uh, cafe, full service. We have lunches and pizzas and snacks and coffee, all operated by the students. This is a, a learning facility, again, for students to learn how to operate a, a food retail space. Staffed by them and stocked and run by students with some uh, supervisory help from faculty in the College of Human Science. A great resource to meet and gather. We have a place you can actually sit and eat and visit with your colleagues and friends. Um, and it's a very popular location here in the Student Innovation Center. Last but not least, on the fourth floor, we have the launch pad here at the Student Innovation Center. Big, beautiful boardroom. Uh, it's configured with tremendous uh, AV capabilities. So as you know, all departments and, and colleges have advisory boards. This can be reserved for meetings like that. Uh, when it's not in reserve, all the students can hang out up here. They love it. It's a beautiful view of the east side of campus, a tremendous natural light, and just a wonderful place to get work done. Right here in the heart of the action on the main level, adjacent to the main level atrium, we have um, Innovate 1858, student-run retail. So they create products. Again, this is a learning space for the students that want to learn how to be merchandisers, retailers. Um, they create objects to sell, decide what to sell. There you can see some items from the Gaffers Guild here that are there for sale. But this is, again, student-run learning space for the College of Human Science. And they we're thrilled that they are here and they've got tremendous resources. Please stop in and shop at Innovate 1858. Well, thank you for joining me for a quick tour of the Student Innovation Center. I'm so excited that we're approaching full capacity and really encourage you all to come and visit us and see the wonderful activities that are going on here. It's just a very exciting time for Iowa State and its students and faculty and staff. So thank you very much.